Hey everyone, so we're back at uh, we're back at the house that we looked at this unexpected uh, this unexpected investment renovation here. Remember our our, our tenant uh, not took off on us, but he left. So we had some work to do. Uh, it, you know, it's still a little bit uh, a little bit rough around the edges, but I want to show you what we've done, what we're busy doing. One thing you got to look at for rental properties: put a ceiling fan if you have a chance. See that thing? It almost looks like it costs money, right? It's fifty dollars at, at Lowe's. Awesome. So that, that's a big tip right there. If you get a chance, it's spend the 50 bucks. Um, I don't know if you remember, but we put we, we did some work in the bathroom. We just put some tiles around. We got the sink going. It's going to be painted and all refinished. So we're just we're, we're still kind of halfway there. We're getting started. Let's take a quick one upstairs. Again, we're in the middle. Things aren't quite done yet. You can see in the kitchen we're not done. They have the stones in the middle of the kitchen. We'll take a quick, quick jog up here. Ugh. All right, and then up here we have uh, uh, the other bathroom. So what we did is we installed a shower because when you put a shower in, people are definitely more interested in the place. So you want to, you, you know, you want to keep that um, going. And then I want to show you something else. I want to go downstairs. The reason, um, the reason why we decided to renovate this property and, and, and kind of do certain things with it is we're actually looking at turning into student rental because when we purchased it, actually here, come downstairs, I'll show you. Okay, because when we purchased it, we didn't realize how close it was to, to one of the local schools. And we're like, wow, so now that we have this opportunity, we're like, wow, what are we going to do with this to maximize the revenue on the house? Because that's what you want to do as, a, as an investor, right? You want to maximize your cash flow. So what we've realized is that if we put some students into this house, we can be generating more monthly cash flow than if we use it as a regular rental, which is what we were using it as before. So, and, and here's the good thing. So four bedrooms, those are all gonna be for students, awesome stuff. What we can do is down here, and, and it's gonna be a little bit dark down here, but I hope you can get the idea. Let's see if I can grab a light. Okay, come over here. There's a little more light here. Okay, the reason why we like it here is because, see, this is totally unfinished. So we have four bedrooms, we have two full bathrooms, we have one kitchen. Now we have this big unfinished area that's very dark, so I'm not sure how you can see, but what we can do is this can bring us more income. Look, we have good sized windows, right? So those are important because when you're putting, if you're gonna put in uh, like bedrooms or living space down in the basement, you wanna make sure you have good sized windows. So we, we may, in the future, it's not gonna be right now, but we may look at putting some rooms down here. That's going to increase our cash flow even more. Right, so that's what investing is all about. Well, you got to look at the home, see what you can do with it, and you want to try and increase your cash flow. So um, I think that's it for this time. It's not the not the best place when it's bare down here, so I'm gonna let you go for now. And um, you know what? We'll do another one after we, we get some painting and stuff done, so you can see the see the, see the finished product. Talk to you soon.